Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. Today is day number two of Xbox E3 2019. And today, I promised you guys your first look at Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions gameplay. And that is exactly what we've got for you guys today. Usually, I head out to E3 myself so I can capture my own gameplay, but I wasn't able to this year. So this gameplay actually comes from xboxlive.fr, so huge props to them for recording this gameplay in crisp 4K 60 FPS. Anyways, if you missed the video from yesterday, it is official, the second expansion for Forza Horizon 4 is LEGO Speed Champions. In yesterday's video, we spoke about the career, a uh, bunch of elements in the map, and some cars. If you missed that video, I will link to it down below. Today, we're gonna jump more in depth on all of those things, and also talk about some things that you probably didn't know just yet. And of course, don't forget, on Thursday, we're also starting up our LEGO Expansion Let's Play, so make sure you subscribe for that as well. That is gonna be huge. We're gonna jump into every single detail of the LEGO Expansion on Thursday. Let's start it off with the biggest drop of all, the Achievements List. For this expansion now usually the achievements list is always pretty standard but it always gives us a lot of information about what's to come in this game i'm not going to go through every achievement in this video if you'd like to check them all out for yourself there will be a link down below to the ar12 website and you can take a look at all of them in your own time however i will jump into a couple key ones that tell us a little bit more about this game for example there's an achievement called master builder which you unlock by building your final house in Forza Horizon 4 LEGO. It's also confirmed now that when you're going through the campaign in LEGO, you won't be earning stars like you did in Blizzard Mountain or Hot Wheels. In this expansion, you'll be actually unlocking LEGO bricks and amassing LEGO bricks. Once you've gone through the entire career mode in LEGO, you will have enough bricks to build the Master House, and that is how you unlock this achievement. I would imagine there's different levels of your house as you continue to go through the campaign, but when you get to the top, you get this super big house, and it looks pretty cool, and you can use your Lego bricks for it. No, there's gonna be no placing bricks yourself to build whatever type of house you want. No, that's not a thing. There's just sort of different levels as you progress through the campaign. There's also an achievement called Brick Built, which you unlock by discovering the Lego Barn Find. So yes, it's confirmed the Lego expansion is getting a barn find, but... What car might we find in that barn find? That is the question that I now have. We'll come back in a little bit to talk about the cars more in depth. However, there are four pretty good options of cars that might be used as this barn find. There are two very cool Mustangs that LEGO creates in real life that could be tossed into this barn find. There is a James Bond edition Aston Martin DB5. That one's a little bit less likely just because of the two-way partnership on that one, but would still be really, really cool. There is also a Volkswagen Beetle, the old classic one, of course. Those four cars are pretty cool. However, I am still holding out hope for the London bus that LEGO makes in real life. It is super cool. And how cool would it be to find a barn in Forza Horizon 4 LEGO? Rock up to it and inside is a London bus. The game takes place in the UK, it would be so cool. The only problem with a Lego barn find bus is the fact that one, how do you fit a bus in a barn? And two, both of the companies that actually built the London bus way, way back in the day have gone out of business. So um, that makes licensing kind of difficult, so we'll have to see. But seriously, would be so, so cool if we got a London bus. We also got this achievement called Flawless Brick Story, which has you go through a Lego-themed story. Now, to be honest, I don't really know how this one would work in terms of like a Lego Horizon story where you go through and you earn stars. I, I, I don't know what you'd have to do, but we'll have to see. If you guys have any thoughts of what a LEGO story might be, let me know in the comments down below. There's also an achievement called Smashing that has you break 500 bonus cubes in this LEGO world. I don't really know what these bonus cubes are, but I guess they give you more LEGO bricks? I'm not sure. It's possible they might give you money, but who really knows right now? And finally, there's a very cool achievement called Mini Adventure, which sees you go from one side of the map all the way to the other in under a minute and 45 seconds, 
in the Lego Mini Cooper. That probably gives you a good idea of how big this map is in the Lego universe. A minute and 45 seconds to go from one side to the other. I would imagine this map is on, on like pace with the map from Fortune Island. So don't expect anything the size of the UK being tossed in as the Lego world, but something a little bit more condensed. Within this gameplay, you can actually see how quickly we go from like biome to biome. Like we're on the coast one minute and then we're already into the Lego city and then we're rocking, ripping it through like some off-road territory. It's very, like it, it's, a, it's a small area for sure. Anyways, those are the cool achievements. If you want to go check them all out, they will be linked down below. Anyways, let's move it along to some of your guys' questions. Earlier today, I went on Twitter and I asked you guys if you had any Lego-themed questions to let me know, and a bunch of you guys had some very interesting ones. For example, I got this interesting question about Lego bricks breaking off your car. Can it happen if you're playing in cosmetic damage? And Yes, it can actually. Say you're driving around and you go barreling into a wall way too fast and you've got cosmetic damage turned on. Yes, Lego bricks will actually fall off of your car. You can see the bumper starting to come apart on this Mini Cooper when the driver who was driving went way too hard into the wall. You can also lose Lego bricks if you smash into the ground way too hard after doing a jump. It's pretty cool, actually. You probably won't be able to go and smash into houses and take out houses, but you can certainly crash into Lego fences and Lego trees and take those down as well. Speaking of cars, though, I know this is a big, big thing that people have been wondering because so far we only have three confirmed cars for this Lego expansion and we should be getting 10 cars in this expansion. I'm assuming this entire Lego expansion won't just be filled with Lego cars. That doesn't really make sense. For example, back in Hot Wheels, there was a mix of Hot Wheels cars, like the Bone Shake or the Twin Mill and things like that. But then there were also cars like the Pagani Zonda R, which were tossed in in the, in the Hot Wheels expansion. I would imagine it's going to be very similar to this. So we probably already got the three Lego cars that we're going to have and then possibly one more for the barn fun. That leaves us with six other slots for cars to get tossed in. Maybe we'll see some of the Speed Champions cars being tossed in because we've already got some of them in Forza Horizon 4. For example, we have the Not So Mini Mini that I made a video on a couple of weeks ago. That is actually a Speed Champions car that LEGO makes and could very possibly be in this expansion as well. There's also this really, really cool stock car that LEGO makes that would be perfect for the speedway that we spoke about in yesterday's video. I know Forza Horizon doesn't like to toss in race cars very often, but this stock car would make so much sense to rip it around the racetrack in this map. I don't know if we're gonna get more LEGO cars than what has been announced, but we've also been promised some cars coming in the future. For example, we know the Ranger Raptor is owed to us in Forza Horizon 4. We've also had a bunch of leaks over the past couple of months that confirm some other cars as well. For example, we've got this rally truck that hits up Dakar every now and again. Super, super cool. That thing was leaked a couple of months ago. With a bunch of slots to fill up this expansion, it's very possible that we might get some real life cars tossed in as well. I would actually imagine that it would be 99% sure that we will get some real life cars tossed into this expansion. On a side note, I also got a bunch of questions from you guys being like, hey, can you use the Lego cars in the actual map in Forza Horizon 4? And of course you can. If you want to go rip it up at Bamber Castle in a Lego McLaren Senna, feel free to go and do so. And of course, the other way works as well. So say you want to take the regular McLaren Senna and drive it in the Lego world, you can definitely do that as well. One thing at this time we still don't know just yet is if there's going to be customization for these cars. Obviously we've seen the bumpers coming off, the roof racks coming off in the video, it's pretty cool. However, there are actually no modifications to any of these cars. The Mini, for example, would be a prime car to swap some engines in and I don't really know if that's going to be possible in Forza Horizon 4 LEGO, but we'll have to see. One thing we do know is that you will probably be able to customize your driver. For example, yesterday I spoke about the three racing suits that you see. It turns out in this full gameplay, you actually see another racing suit that is a Forza racing suit. It's super, super cool and hopefully we'll get some customizable Lego characters. And finally, let's talk about one thing that I noticed that's a little bit strange, honestly. 
as this gameplay has been going on, you might have noticed every time you jump into interior view, there's actually no hands on the racing wheel. I mean, it kind of makes sense if you're a Lego character with basically claws that don't really move. It would be kind of hard and kind of wonky, but it's just a little bit weird to drive around and not see hands on a, ra on a steering wheel in Forza Horizon. It's just a little weird. I mean, the steering wheel turns left and right, but you just physically don't see any hands on the steering wheel. Anyways, guys, that is all the information I've got for you guys today. Like I said, we're gonna have plenty more information for you guys tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe for that. And of course, we are starting our Let's Play jumping into the full expansion on Thursday, so make sure you subscribe for that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support on the LEGO videos. It's been much appreciated. Until tomorrow, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye!